Hello, Sycamore Junior High, and happy Friday, April 8th, 2022, and welcome to this week's episode of our video announcements. I'm Cece. Yes, happy Friday, everyone. Hello, I'm Savannah. Let's all please unite and honor our free America by standing and placing our hand over our heart to say the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Not sure if you knew that the Cincinnati Reds played their first regular season opener last night. Yay! They won 6-3 to three over the Atlanta Braves, but baseball doesn't officially start for, Cin for Cincinnati fans until the first home game opener, which happens to be next Tuesday, April 12th. For, for years, Cincinnati has traditionally began their season on opening day at home with a big parade celebration leading the way. As we prepare to get a good night's sleep on Sunday for the air test opener, opening day, make sure to prepare and gear up over the weekend to wear your favorite Major League Baseball spirit wear next Tuesday, April 12th, to officially celebrate Major League Baseball Day. Yes. Go Reds, and plan to wear your favorite Major League Baseball gear next Tuesday, April 12th. Now to prepare for the next couple of weeks, we have another air test taking tip to prepare us for Monday's air test opening day. Be ready before testing. It's extremely important to be well rested by getting a good night's sleep before testing about 8 to 10 hours. Make sure to eat a nutritious breakfast in the morning, not consisting of hot Cheetos and candy. To fill your bodies with energy and brain power, sleep and healthy foods do a body good. Also, please note that we will not be having video announcements next Monday and Tuesday on the special test taking schedule days, as well as re not recognized students or athletes of the week next week. Our video announcements will resume next Wednesday. Good luck to all of the junior high band students participating in solo and ensemble tomorrow. Break a leg. Again, in addition to our test taking strategies, remember to be sycamore and we need to be safe by giving our best effort. Be a problem solver, like using scrap paper for planning and solving problems. Be responsible, for instance, take your time and check your work before you submit the test. And be respectful, make sure you have silent reading book material to read after you complete the test. Today's daily survey. So yesterday's was supplied by a student who wanted students' opinions on a topic she was debating. So we are not going to share the results, but make sure to go fill out fill out today's daily survey in Google Classroom. Next, Sycamore Junior High PBL affiliates. Harper and Josie have some more PBIS teacher challenge results to share with us. Hello, I'm Harper. And I'm Josie. Last time you saw us, we had the Eleven Chubby Bunny challenge results. Well, we have some more challenge results. That's right, last time we had Chubby Bunny Challenge, so to switch things up, we're doing a push-up challenge. Today, Harper, what do we have? I'm so glad you asked, Josie. Today we have the Derbyshire Push-Up Challenge. Three, two, one, burn! Yeah. Come on, let's go! Any other comments? 
We feel. I'm, I'm, it makes me feel old. It makes definitely me feel old. Me. They yeah. definitely. I don't know. I think you held your own from another old person. To be young again. <laughs> to be young again. In, in awesome shape. <laughs> That's so exciting. I know. And now the best part, the final results. Okay, so Noam D had 37 push-ups. And Michael J had 51. And Yasmin F with 40 push-ups. And of course, Miss Derbyshire with 23. So our winner is, drum roll please. Michael Johnson, congrats. And that wraps up the Derby Share push-up challenge results. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to students Cambria S, Lee S, and staff member Mrs. George. Also happy birthday to Kevin A, Abigail L, Cece S, Kale B, Colt B, and Ryan W who will all celebrate over the weekend. We hope we have a wonderful day to celebrate. And now over to our wonderful and magnif magnificent Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily announcements. All right, International Club, you're gonna to meet today in room 214. Today, the end of today's meeting is at four o'clock, which is earlier than usual. So make sure your drivers pick you up at four, not 415, all right? So your meeting is ending at four for International Club. Don't forget, get your yearbook next Friday. Yes, it came. Next Friday is the last day that you can order your Sycamore Junior High yearbook. All right, it's $35 a copy. If you have questions, see Mrs. Spielman. Get it on that link here. Get that done today. All right, if you are truly passionate about science, technology, engineering, art, and math, STEAM in other words, the Sycamore Robotics FTC team will be having a virtual information session for 7th through 12th graders on Thursday, April 22nd from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Check the school newsletter, which is called the S'more. Your parents get that on Fridays or your school email for the link to that Zoom meeting. You need to hit that link so you can check out the meeting. All right. That's all for me today. Just some reminders. Remember, we're testing next week. Make sure those Chromebooks are fully charged when you bring them in on Monday and Tuesday for testing so we don't have any problems. But other than that, you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. We have our first Hanin and Ava staff member recognition segment. Let's go over to Hanin and Ava. As you remember from weeks ago, Hanin and I have started a new project to recognize the staff member of the week. Congratulations to Mrs. Stein, who was recognized most by students at Sycamore Junior High. We would like to welcome Mrs. Stein as we read out some things that students recognize most about her impact at our school. We combine many things said about Mrs. Stein. Mrs. Stein is always trying to make us better, whether it is listening to directions or behaving in the halls. She works hard to make Sycamore Junior High a better place. She works hard every day and helps us achieve our goals. She also makes sure that everyone is seen because she believes everyone deserves a chance, no matter your gender or grade. Mrs. Stein also helps us with life skills using real world, real world examples. She will never hesitate to check in every Monday in class we do Monday Lives. This is a way Mrs. Stein can find out what's happening in our lives and to check in on how we're doing. She also, she also uses questions on every assessment, like what's the last mistake you made? How can you learn from it? Or what's the last thing you wish you could do better? Why? These questions help us reflect on our lives at a lot more. Mrs. Stein also stands in the hallway to greet everyone in the morning, sometimes other bells too. Mrs. Stein gets her to-do list done and doesn't waste time. Okay, Mrs. Stein, congratulations on making an impact on the student body at Sycamore Junior High. Thank you very much. We really appreciate all you do. Thank have you. a good day. What's for lunch today? For lunch, we will have a, the rice bowl. We will also serve hamburgers and cheeseburgers. Wow, that was a lot of information. I know, right? But anyway, good luck to the Cincinnati Reds and our SGH students taking the air test. Also, good luck to all the junior high band students participating in solo and ensemble this weekend. Do your best. Now for the joke of the day. Okay. Why did the biologist break up with the physicist? 
Uh, why? Because they had no chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Go Aves! Aves. Good morning, students. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I uh, just want to come and give you some reminders about testing next week. So this is the time of the year where you get an opportunity to show everybody else what you've learned so far this year and gain some valuable experience for high school and, of course, exams, SAT, ACT, any college entrance exams as you move forward. So you will be taking English language arts air assessments next Monday and Tuesday, the 11th and 12th, math the following week, Tuesday, Wednesday, 19th and 20th, and eighth graders will take science on the 27th, uh, which is Wednesday of the following week. So on those days, we're going to run an adjusted bell schedule, and in preparation of testing, I need to remind you guys of a few things. First off, try to get the best night's sleep that you can. Uh, key to success is having a great night's sleep the day before testing. Get a good breakfast, or if you can't get one before the bus or car ride, remember, get one here at school, and that can be done in the cafeteria or by the gym. Please try to arrive every day on time uh, so you can get to your testing location quickly and uh, before testing begins. Next, please arrive every day with your Chromebook and that Chromebook should be charged. So when you go home at night, plug it in, charge it, make sure it's ready to go. If you would, please leave your electronic devices in your locker or at home that day. You can't have a cell phone or a smartwatch on your body during testing. We'll ask you to take those off. Uh, you can't have that. Is it a testing security issue? Bring a pair of earbuds, not AirPods, earbuds with a cord. Those have to be corded so we can plug into your computer so you'll have the option to listen to questions and text read aloud. They must have a cord. You cannot use Apple AirPods with Bluetooth uh, for testing security. Eighth graders will be able to use TI-30X2 calculators on the math test. And again, do your best. Take your time, you'll have plenty of time to complete the test and we want you to do your best. So again, testing starts on Monday. Come with those Chromebooks ready to go, charge and make sure you bring them as we have a limited number of loaners and we should be good to go. I know you'll do your best. I believe in you, believe in yourselves. Have a good one, thanks.